Fandoms in general tend to heavily hone in on the negative aspects of the franchises that they watch. This often means over-analyzing characters and storylines and getting worked up when the plot doesn't play out the way you want. And I think this is somewhat true of the Miraculous fandom. Overall, I think the fandom's a pretty positive place, but I think there's definitely certain criticisms that have become overplayed. And hey, I'm not trying to virtue signal, I've definitely contributed to this mentality as well. And don't get me wrong, I'm not condemning this type of behaviour necessarily. As long as you aren't sending abuse or threats to creators, I think you're well within your rights to critique aspects of the show that you don't like or that have rubbed you the wrong way. The only problem for me is that it creates a very toxic mindset. When I get worked up into a frenzy about a fandom, suddenly nothing that has ever been created in that fandom is good. I can't see all the good parts, just the bad. And I think this was a big trend after the end of Season 3. Miracle Queen didn't really live up to the hype and had plot points that were pretty controversial. In the months after release, I feel like a lot of people weren't at all happy with the show's direction and much of the discussion I was seeing was trending negatively. Since the release of the New York special, this has kind of eased off a bit, but I still think we have to try and remember that this show has done a lot right. I mean, for the show to have managed to acquire such a dedicated fan base means it must be on some level good, right? So that's what I want to talk about today. Talk about all the things that the show has done right in my opinion, and hopefully remind us why we even like it in the first place. I think the best and most defining element of Miraculous is the character of Ladybug slash Marinette. I made a video discussing why I think she's such a well-designed and implemented character, so feel free to watch that, but as a recap, I'll just summarise it here. Ladybug is clearly presented as the main hero, and yet, she's a girl. Before Marvel or DC were showcasing women as the main character of the film, Marinette was here, leading her team. And yet it's never referenced. They don't do it for woke points. They do it because they view it as a normal thing for women to lead, instead of being a really strange and alien concept that needs to be referenced every five minutes. On top of that, male characters like Master Fu or Cat Noir don't doubt her plans or think they can do better because they're men and therefore know better. Her reactions and emotions to particular events aren't seen as weaknesses. It's a testament to her strength and she's supported by Cat Noir and the others because of it. When she does make mistakes, they just roll with it and help her out instead of taking control. They've created a world in which gender equality has mostly been attained, at least compared to the real world. It gives the audience a goal to strive for in real time and inspires the next generation of creators to implement similar characters and ideals, and I think they need to be commended on this point. And whilst they're delving into other regions of representation might still need a little bit of work in my opinion, they're making strides in those directions as well. On top of that, I feel like Miraculous has really succeeded in creating an engaging and vibrant world based on what I consider to be a very original concept. Yes, a lot of characters are references to Marvel or DC heroes, and yes, you can see where the writers have borrowed from other stories to help fill in the lore a little bit. You can make connections like Ladybug's based on Spider-Man, and that the Miraculouses are loosely similar to the Mandarin's rings from Marvel. But they aren't just one-to-one -one copies, they're their own unique thing with their own rich and detailed history and development. Rarely does the show feel like it's just directly ripping off anything. I mean, even Night Owl and Majestia, who were clearly Batman and Superman knockoffs, managed to feel a little unique from their mainstream counterparts. Although, in a lot of aspects, they were basically lifted directly from DC Comics. Building off this, I honestly think whilst there have been missteps, the writing in general has gotten a lot better from when the show first began. Now, this might be a little bit of a controversial one, but I think it's true. When the show first started, the writing was, for the most part, okay. It was mostly consistently good, but the overarching story was kind of lacking. In season two, steps were being made towards the show having a more season-encompassing narrative, but the story was still bogged down by a lot of boring filler. In season three, they've started to trim some of these filler episodes and try to push the plot forward each episode. Were there missteps? Yes. Miracle Queen is a prime example of this, but that's because they're trying to take risks and trying to approach the episodes in different ways and give some unique formats and stories. Episodes like Cat Blanc and Oblivio are examples of this. I think it shows the writers are trying to grow the show and make the writing a little bit more complex. And whilst you might not like the creative direction or the slow pace of the story, I think we should respect that they don't just want to keep every episode feeling the same. They want to try new things and give each episode a more unique flavour. So yeah, Miraculous doesn't do everything right. It has issues and bringing them up and discussing them is a very valid thing to do. But sometimes, I think I just need a little bit of positivity, otherwise I'll burn out. So I think discussing what we like is just as important. That being said, I'd now like to throw it to you guys. What part of Miraculous do you like the most? Is it character development, the writing, originality of the story? I'm keen to hear what you have to say, so let me know in the comments.